So I just want to show the uh, difference between machining uh, black Delarin or any Delarin for that matter uh, versus uh, UHMW, which is this stuff right here. Um, the UHMW tends to gum up while you're trying to lathe it and usually you need a lot of coolant to actually uh, try to machine it with properly so you get a nice smooth surface on there and, and be nice and usable as compared to uh, the Delrin. Uh, so we'll do a quick demonstration here on uh, how it lathes uh, with no coolant and show you the quick difference right here. So I'll just fire it up. I'll just be using the uh, auto feed here just to have a more fair of a experiment, I guess. So, as you can tell, it just kind of swirls it down and doesn't gum it up or anything like that. It just machines nice and smooth. Uh, stop in a second, I'll show you how the uh, end result is. And then we'll also do the, uh, the cross feed too. You'll notice, uh, if the camera ever pretty smooth on there. I uh, can't even put my fingernail on there and it's really, really, really smooth. Uh, I've been doing a whole bunch of Delrin actually and uh, you can tell the end result is pretty, pretty shiny, pretty smooth. Uh, no drama, I'm trying to machine it down by any means. Um, We'll just go along the piece too, just to show the difference on there. Once again, you know, like I said, mentioned, nice and smooth, no gumming up or anything like that, uh, no coolant needed. Um, yeah, just very, very easy to machine. Uh, compared to, just put this piece in there. Like I said, this is UHMW. Um, Personally, I think it's one of the nastiest things to try to machine. Uh, so we'll just do a quick run here. Doesn't look to be very true. I'm not sure if it's just. Try that again. I think it's just off. So anyways, we'll do the uh, cross feed first. As you can tell, it's not really taking it off in a shaving by any means. It's just cupping it. Uh, that's a better shot like right there. Just cupping it and taking out all one. Um, edge, so to speak. And it's just almost melting instantly, even at this relatively slow speed here. And we get bits and pieces. I'm not sure where the other piece went there. Um, it's kind of hard to tell with the camera, and especially being white. Surface is a lot rougher now. Uh, maybe we won't take it out. 
we'll have a better view of it. We'll try to do a longitudinal feed here and see how that shows up. But once again, it's not shaving it off. It's just more gumming it and pushing it back than anything else. Yeah, just very, very gummy, um, hard to work with. Sorry, just taking out all this stuff. You know, it just all piles up and gums up. Um, end result's definitely not as smooth. Um, so that it's hard to, to kind of get the graining uh, comparison with this uh, just because of its color and everything. But you can even tell, you know, how stranded the edges are compared to uh, the other piece that we had here. Um, very, very easy to machine the Delrin compared to the UHMW. Once again, that's what that is. Uh, just comes up and it's not neat to, to thread or do anything with. Anyways, that's all for now.